Hello, boys and ghouls. Welcome to... Welcome to... Tales from the Cookie Jar! ghost finger puppet. So first, take your piece of paper and fold it in half, hamburger style. Then, draw a ghost. This doesn't have to be perfect. Ghosts come in all shapes and sizes. Just make sure it's at least three to four inches thick. Just like that. Then, you can get an adult to help you if you'd like. Cut this shape out. Make sure you get both sides of the paper. So once you have that cut out, you can take one of the pieces and glue on some googly eyes, or you can draw them on if you don't have googly eyes. You just want to do this first so that the glue doesn't seep through the piece of paper. Then, you can draw a mouth on. Just like this. Then, once the glue is dry, you can take the other piece and take your glue and just glue right around the edges. So I'm talking just around the edges. Make sure you don't get in the middle because that's where your fingers go. So this is what it'll look like once you have the glue on. Just around the edges, like I said. But not around the bottom edge. That's where your fingers go. Then you can take the top piece, once it's dry, with the face on it, and gently stick it on top and then you can pat it down with your finger. In a couple minutes, you'll have a finger puppet, just like this. Boo! Hello everyone, and welcome to Cookie Jar Theater. Today we are going to be reading a story about a local ghost who is very friendly. This is a story about a friendly ghost named Albert. Albert liked to do a lot of fun things, play with friends, eat spicy ghost spaghetti at his favorite Italian restaurant, and above all else, Albert liked to go to the theater. He liked to watch dance shows, and funny shows, adventure shows, and music shows. Those were his favorite. He usually had to sleep when he watched these shows because there was no seats left. But he didn't mind. He was happy to be able to watch. Albert liked theater so much, he would travel all over the world to different theaters to see as many shows as he could. He even saw a play about a phantom who sang very well, drove a boat, and looked very dashing in a black cape. Albert had always wanted to wear a black cape, but after seeing how good the phantom looked, decided he would look like a moldy ice cream cone. Albert loved the theaters he saw and other ghosts he met along the way, but he was starting to get tired of standing all the time. When he would try to sit in an empty seat, somebody would always come along and squish him, and when he would tap people on the shoulder, asking if they wouldn't mind sharing, <coughs> They would always get very scared and run away from him, which made Albert sad. One day, Albert made his way to Kamloops, where he went to see a show at the Sagebrush Theater. He arrived very, very early in the hopes of getting a seat. When he arrived, there was a technician named Amy, way above him, hanging lights. Albert wanted to greet her, so he brushed his teeth, straightened his hair, and began to climb to her. As he got closer to her, he noticed she didn't have her safety belt on, and she was about to fall. Because Albert didn't want to scare her by tapping her on the shoulder, all he said was, Amy, buckle up. And she heard him. She tied herself in. At the moment, a light came crashing down beside her. But she was safe, because Albert told her to put her belt on. 
and Amy told everyone at the theater about the friendly ghost who helped her. When night fell and the show was about to begin, Albert made sure to drink a big cup of coffee, do some stretches, and stand in the corner. That's when he noticed his new friend Amy, who was cleaning a brand new seat in its own little area. When Amy was done, Albert walked over to the seat and saw a note that said, Enjoy the show, Albert. He sat in the seat, and nobody squished him, nobody ran away, and he finally got to enjoy a show in his very own seat. So if you ever go to the Sagebrush Theatre, you will see a seat, seat number Z24 to be exact, that is all by itself. That is where Albert sits and watches all the shows. He's a friendly ghost, so don't be afraid to say hello when you enter the theater and goodbye when you leave. I'm sure he'd like to make a new friend. Hello everyone, I have a game for you to play with your friends and family over this spooktacular weekend. This is called Shrieking Charades. It's as simple as it sounds. Get your friends and family to write down on small pieces of paper Halloween terms, jack-o'-lantern, trick-or-treating, or costumes. Then, you throw the pieces of paper into a hat, someone goes first and picks one out, and acts out what they read on the piece of paper. Oh, uh, a black cat? Yeah, you got Good it! Good job! Yeah. Ghost. Yeah. A ghost! <laughs> 